Good evening. In a landmark ruling, the Supreme Court today legalized abortions. And there was no national outcry in the case. The church was as significantly asleep at the switch, but so were the American people. In the mid-80s, we were starting to look for ways to really engage the church in practical ways to get involved. So I'm praying, and, and many of these pastors are praying, that Christians will, for lack of a better word, just get mad. A judge can use his raw power to try to stifle the movement, but God has raised up a move of his spirit here that no man can stand against. Yeah, a little bit more than somewhat of an activist. Uh, we went right to the front lines. It was just a simple looking at scripture, loving my neighbor as myself. Who is my neighbor and how do I love them? We utilized the criminal procedure to protect our client. And the other side, the pro-choice group, was not used to Christian lawyers doing that. And we did it aggressively. Well, we turned on CNN and it was already playing on the news. The most joyous day of his life and now the first thing in the morning. Good morning. Hi, Operation Rescue, please come down to testify in federal court. The First Amendment protected their right to engage in protest, even to the Democratic nominee for President of the United States. We're going to see if free speech still stays free in New York City. They're praying on this side while doing what they've been doing this morning. Will you arrest them for doing that? 1,500 cases in Atlanta. What is it, only politically correct speech gets to happen? We punched a hole in hell, and the demons came out. You fuck my clinics, I'll fuck your church. And it could get pretty nasty. I was punched. We were spit on, it was urinated on. It's clubbed. Cigarettes uh, put out in our hair. Uh, it goes on and on because for the first time since 73, I think the pro-choice movement recognized, oh my gosh, this is something really serious. 